तो हेलो अभी वन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोना जस्ट रीडिजाइन दिस चॉकलेट मॉडल यूजिंग दी ब्लेंडर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट सो हियर आई एम इन माय ब्लेंडर तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल डिलीट एवरीथिंग एंड आई एम जस्ट स्प्लिट माय स्क्रीन एंड आई विल जस्ट इंपोर्ट द रेफरेंस इमेज सो दिस इज द रेफरेंस इमेज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ दिस किट कैट चॉकलेट सो फॉर क्रिएटिंग दिस किट कैट चॉकलेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड one cube here i'm just going to add one cube here then i will just scale it something like that now uh, this look awesome by the way okay and i'm just going to scale it something like that and i'll just apply the scale after that i am just going to insert it pressing the i all right then i'm just going to again stud it something like that that look nice and i will just do little bit scale x axis yeah i think that is look awesome so this is the basic structure we have completed now what i will do basically i will just use the bevel modifier for creating the soft edges so first of all i will just apply the scale and then i'm just going to and then i'm just going to increase the segment from here yeah i think that's look awesome and we need to fix these uh, corner effect basically this area is not looking good So for that, what we have to do, we have to just go to the geometry section, and here we have one option. It's called basically meter outer. We need to just do patch. Patch is also looking nice. You can also use the arc. Arc is working. The arc is perfectly working. Now here you can see it is look nice. And now we can increase little bit segment also. And I just do right click and do shade and auto smooth, and we can do shade smooth as well. Okay. and apart from that i don't think so we need to do anything because it is looking nice by the way we can just scale it a little bit something like that and make sure after doing the scale you just apply the scale because we are using the bevel modifier otherwise that modifier will not react nicely and we need to just a little bit decrease the amount of this so it look little bit more sharper and yeah, now everything is looking good by the way now what i will do basically everything is looking nice we have to just add this kitkat logo on this Part. So for that, what I will do, I have already downloaded one SVG of the what we can say KitKat logo, and we have to just import it from here. I'm just gonna import that SVG. Here you can see that is the SVG. I'm just gonna select it from here. Select object. I'll just do Shift H. Then I'll just go to my top view, and after that I'll just delete this red box because we don't need it. I also don't need this nestle one and this register icon as well okay So first of all, I will just apply the bevel modifier, something like that. Then I'm just gonna do it here to here, like different. Let's look something like that. I'm just gonna apply it. Yes. Now what I will do basically, I will just go to edit mode of this part. I'm just gonna select all the shapes here, something like that. And then I'm just gonna extrude it, something like that. Then I'm just gonna do right click, shade flat, something like that. Then I'm just gonna select these faces. All right. and i'm just going to like extrude it inside little bit something like that now here you can see we have a good kitkat logo here then i'm just going to disable the wireframe and now here you can see this is look something like that now everything is looking good to go now what i will do basically our chocolate is ready we can use the chocolate material from this here by the way i will just search the chocolate 
See, they will, they will get lots of chocolate material from here. We can use uh, like this one also. We can use uh, this one. This is look awesome, by the way. Let's see how it is looking on it. All right, so here you can see this is look awesome, by the way. Now we can just reduce the depth first of all, but that is too much, I think. We'll just reduce the depth first of all. And just a little bit down. Make sure this all right, guys. So now here you can see that's how you can create a Kit Kat chocolate using the blender. That's very easy in poultry. 